a trigger puller. Police say you're a trigger puller. Is that true? What? Police say you're a trigger puller. Is that No, no, I love you. We're here at a secret undercover location in the Bronx where NYPD detectives are getting ready to launch a manhunt for nearly two dozen gang members wanted for serious felonies, including murder. It's a Lisa Evers exclusive. It's before dawn on Wednesday, but NYPD detectives from the Gun Violence Suppression Division, called GVSD for short, are joined by detectives from Bronx precincts and warrant squads for this important mission. Their mission? Stopping the reign of terror caused by teens, young men, and a few women who engage in running gun battles with their opposition or ops at all hours of the day and night, no matter who's in the way, right in their own community. These cases are the single most impactful reason that shootings trend downwards. The targets are 20 members of the Slattery Gang based out of Slattery Playground in the Fordham section of the Bronx. If you come around from two on, that's when it fills up with all the gangs. Investigators say they're responsible for more than a dozen shootings and attempted murders. It's almost like they were competing with each other to see who could shoot more times. The Slattery crew, also known by other names like Slaughtery and S-Block, allegedly took aim at their main opponents or ops, other young people, for no good reason. Investigators say the hatred is fueled by inflammatory disses about murdered ops and drill raps posted on social media. That's aspiring drill rapper Nate Benz, who police say is one of the gang leaders. The average age of the case subjects is 20. Teen girls are trigger pullers too. Like the shooter in this video, says Deputy Inspector Craig Edelman. They're shooting at each other with a yellow school bus filled with kids in between them. Making the community safe again is their passion and purpose. For takedown leader, Detective Brandon Ravello, it's personal. This is where he grew up. A lot of the subjects are wanted for being active trigger pullers, so they're asking us to put on these bulletproof vests before we go out to the locations once the manhunt gets underway. We're on the highway now as part of the caravan going to the first destination. These detectives know exactly who they are looking for because all of the subjects in this case have been pre-indicted by a Bronx grand jury. Officers go into the building, every detail and movement planned in advance. Right now, the detectives are inside the building going into the apartment where they have a search warrant to apprehend the suspect. Sergeant Christopher Neal is in constant communication with team members, making sure everyone gets in and out safely. In recent history, we've, we've seen that impact takedowns or takedowns of this magnitude have a profound impact on the community. What's going on here? I love you, babe. A female suspect who's eight months pregnant is brought out in handcuffs from an apartment. What's going on? Why did they pick you up? We are here executing a search warrant on Tiabo Avenue in the Bronx in regards to a drive-by shooting that happened in a, in a public school playground. Bronx District Attorney Darcel Clark announced a 176-count conspiracy indictment against the alleged gang members for everything from attempted murder to robbery and weapons possession. More than a dozen guns were recovered, including some from the takedown. We're going to stay at this no matter what, no, no matter how long it takes. We are laser focused on making sure that we keep the public safe. They are absolutely firing bullets without remorse or regret and without regard of anybody that's around. This is one of the most violent crews that I've seen. You made our streets, our communities into a battlefield, and there's no excuse for that. The team members believe their efforts are a step forward in making people feel safe again. Today, I, I think, is a victory for the community. Um, anytime you have a gang that uh, claims a territory inside of a park where children play, um, it has all the potential for tragedy. So you're not a trigger puller? No, I don't pull no triggers. Now, as bad as it looks, all the defendants are presumed innocent until proven guilty. Keep in mind that everyone accused in this case is under the age of 25. Many of them are just 20 years old or less. And the defendants are found guilty of these crimes. If that happens, they could spend more than a decade, sometimes...